Hello everyone. Before we get into the code, let us look at few things. Grant Sanderson has an amazing YouTube channel called 3 Blue 1 Brown where he creates animated videos about math. So let us look at one of his videos. So here he talks about partial differential equation. All these animations were created using Python scripts and these are of very high quality. So I was interested to know how exactly does he do that. So on his GitHub page, he uses an engine called Manim, which stands for Mathematical Animation, where he provides all the Python scripts and also all the dependencies that need to be installed. Getting all the dependencies right is a little bit tricky, but he also provides a Docker file, which you can use to build and run the Manim image. So once everything is set up, we can look at the code. So, so here is the example file that I used to create the animation that you saw in the intro. So in this function, we have the first line animations using Python. We have the second line and the second line changes to it works. So here we have the packages that he provides in GitHub. So here we have all the packages that he provides. So now let us look at how to execute this example. Let us go to command prompt. And so here we have python dash manim. So here is the script we are trying to execute. So we can generate first a lower resolution file, which would take lesser time to render. So this is how the animation would look like. This is of lower resolution so this is of 480p resolution running at 15 frames per second so if we want a higher resolution video let's say of 60 frames per second we can remove l at the end and run it so it might take a bit longer depending on your cpu but let's see yeah so this is the higher resolution video file that I used while making this video. So this is of considerable quality. So this is of resolution 1440p running at 60 frames per second. So obviously this is a bit complicated. This is a complicated method to generate the animations that you want. A much simpler method would be to use Blender. Now, Blender is a free and open source animation software. So in this example, I'm trying to move this object, uh, which is a sphere, along these coordinates. And you can also get a good preview of what your final animation would look like. Because here, after every 20 frames, I am changing the position of the sphere. And you also have other options in the software, such as changing the scale of the image, changing the camera angle. And this is a much more simpler way to generate the animations that you want. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you know any other tools that can be used to create animations, you can let me know in the comments. Also, before we go, let's look at the projects created by Blender. So we have many full and feature films that have been created by using Blender. And Blender has much more support compared to money. So it will be easier for you to debug errors in your code if you're using Blender. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.